So the original five was me, Elimination, Medios, High, and Balls. Uh, I guess we had Alex Penn back then. So, this is the first installment of the Cloud9 video vlog. Here is Balls, Alex Penn, Lemon, Jack, <laughs> Sneaky's right there. I think I got me. Medios? We're gonna get all this stuff because Jack is paying. So, haha. <laughs> <laughs> I joined Cloud9 back in 2013. It was after we, um, pretty much all of us back then, failed the qualifiers into the first LCS. <laughs> we all had to kind of, you know, retry and go again. So yeah, we had to really step up and figure out how we really feel like we're supposed to play the game. But we didn't really know how well it was gonna work at first. Eyes on the Nexus, their eyes on the summer split, completely undefeated in the series. Four kills make that almost everyone going down. Cloud9 gonna end the series 3-0. They're gonna take down the Nexus, and they're the North American champions. I think the roster lasted two and a half years, but we're all so in sync and so on the same page to listen to each other. And that, I think that was the biggest part of our team back then. We were able to do really good things. Sneaky is very healthy. One shot can kill a few. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh, no. One shot can kill a few. That's what he needed. And here it comes. Sneaky's gonna turn it around. And he does. A quad for kill from Sneaky. So I've been to Worlds every year since I joined. 2013 to 2019. It kind of started cycling. I did Korea twice. One in 2014, one in 2018. I did NA in 2013 and 2016, did China in 2017, 2015 was Europe, 2019 was Europe. And now the North American AD carry with the highest KDA for the summer split, Sneaky! I'd say there's a lot of moments that are unforgettable. Um, I mean, you know, I, I kind of forgetting right now, TBH. <laughs> Trying to get back in and clean it up, but the exhaust is down. Sneaky gets himself a triple kill as it all settles. Empyrean, the only one left. There's the quadrant. and Sneaky getting it another penta. He does! And Sneaky picks up a penta kill. Goes through the assassination. So much pressure put on Cloud9. They lose to GA. Oh my god! He stole, he he stole the Elder Dragon! Sneaky! Do they have the damage? Medios repels into the air. Impact left alone. A kill coming through for Sneaky. Make that two. He's keeping his team alive. A quad for kill for Sneaky. The Pentakill to save the game. Huge lead for Cloud9. Right. And that that is something that is not that easy to pull off. Like that, that definitely. Oh, what? Oh! Deadly Sneaky. flourish. Sneaky Bali. What the? No. <laughs> I mean, I think obviously to me, like, the big moments are always going to be winning. I think that's everyone too. Like, like the big wins, you know, 2013, 2014, this meant a lot to us. Um, and then getting really far in Worlds every year was also really something close to our hearts, I guess. Um, we always somehow ended up as the last hope of an A. And the knockups are there. Is this the fight? It's two for zero, and the Guardian Angels are popped. This could well be it. Look at him clean up the map. And the last vestige of Korea has been destroyed. Cloud9 will make it to the semifinals. A 3-0 sweep. The first time in seven years. Cloud9 in the top four at Worlds. It was the first year where Korea was not winning and we were the team to fully eliminate them. And then we really felt like there was a huge chance for us to actually win that year. I mean, obviously, a lot of the teams felt that way too. I mean, that's a lot to me. Obviously, it's just been the team that I've always wanted to compete with. I've never really had thoughts of changing teams. There's never been a moment where I'm doubting my teammates are faltering. Like I know my players are good, they can improve. There's just other stuff that we can fix as a whole. So that's kind of like always been my philosophy. And that's something I've carried with me with C9. And I think that's what makes everyone enjoy the team. Maybe a lot more than other teams people have been on. Yeah, I mean, it's meant a lot. Had a lot of success. 
What's next? I'll be streaming as an independent. Pretty much not under the C9 flag, but you know, still love C9, my team. I'll be able to explore opportunities on my own. I will be moving into an advisor role for C9. Um, and pretty much is going to be that, you know, I can give some advice, <laughs> technically, you know, advisor, but uh, I'll pretty much just be helping them out with uh, events throughout the year. And you guys will be able to see me there occasionally. I don't know exactly what yet, nothing's set in stone, but yeah, we'll be, we will help them out. See you guys there. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything, for supporting me here, Cloud9, all these years. Uh, you guys have been really kind to me. I appreciate it a lot. Oh, what a monster. That is gross. And then over here, we have Sneaky attempted to kill one. He's using a fork, boys. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. Waiting for the crab, and then I'm gonna eat. This is really sad. Dang it. So, over here, we have mussels. A lot of them. We have two pounds of shrimp, one pounds of mussel. We got some lemon pepper wings as well. Most of them are gone now, though. We have a pound of crawfish over here. And then we are waiting for our crab.